Prime French's family. I'm kind of hot. Am I sweating? No, I'm not sweating. Your boy got the fresh cut, though. I got my hair cut. But, hey, look. We about to feed the dogs. We all upstairs, but I'm not worried about, you know, cropping and making it look the right way. Because we about to be moving um, around the house a little bit. Um, that's all my dog stuff right there. Try to keep it clean up in here. Cages or whatever. They outside. We about to get them from outside. Um, about to feed them. And we are also um, about to talk about two things. Two things in this video. Two things I've been wanting to talk about. But the two things are... Um, the first one may, may be disgusting to some people. May not be to some other people. But we are going to talk about a dog's... Uh, pregnant dog's mucus discharge when they're about to have the puppies. Um, I got a little video I'm going to post. And I'm going to voice over it and show y'all... Um, what it is um, upon further research and you know talking to vets always getting that professional knowledge um, I'm gonna tell y'all what it means um, whether it's bad news or good news and um, we're gonna talk about uh, first heats uh, one of my uh, subscribers followers um, hit me up on Instagram and said you know they wanted to know my opinion about um, when puppies come in heat for the first time what I think about it, what I breed a dog on the first heat, um, all of those type of things. So we're going to get in and chop it up about that. I'm going to tell you all my opinion. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you um, what anybody else does. I'm going to tell you what my opinion is about it and how I'm going to move based on my opinion and my knowledge of it and how I think about it moving forward with my camp. So... Um, you might learn something. You might disagree. I'm all for it. So comment below. Um, and we about to get to it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're on the way to a thousand. And the watch hours is zooming, man. I get like probably 20-something watch hours a day. And that's crazy from where we started. So I'm truly blessed. Truly thankful. I appreciate you all. Let's go downstairs and get these dogs from outside. Because I'm in Louisiana and it's hot as hell outside. That's why I was sweating when I first got my video. But we're going to go get these dogs from outside. We about to feed them, put some food up in their containers and all of that. And then we are um, going to come back up here and we're going to chop it up about some stuff. Come on, let's go downstairs. We downstairs definitely are downstairs right now um we got they food right here so we got the i keep the adult dogs i keep them on the puppy food um they weight is good they get all the nutrients they need they healthy dogs so you know i don't see why i should switch them from off the puppy food that was, and that was what i was told by some breeders as well when i first got in the game was to uh you know, just keep him on the keep him on the puppy food after I switched Gray's puppy food when she got pregnant. And Chino is only a year old, so he can still eat that as well. Oh, Drop my damn picture, man. My my um my wheel. I'm tripping. Alright, got that fixed. But yeah, that was just some advice. And then you know I got big dreams, the high protein. Purina, Purina, Purina is what I use, Pro Plan for the Frenchies, and I got the high protein for the pit. Um, he right here. Big Driz. <laughs> Alright, just in the camera, man. He ain't gotta do all that. He ain't gotta do all that. I'm about to let your friends inside right now. Come on, y'all, come on. Come on. You gonna go outside. Come on, bro. Lola. Chino, Lola. Hey. Come on. Come on. What is it like to be outside, man? I'm about to fix y'all food. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? <laughs> you know the routine, man. It is what it is, bro. Chino, you want to come back down? <laughs> you know the routine, man. It is what it is. Look at Chino. Ooh. Chino, nice, too. Chino. 
Lola Mama. Oh boy. Hey Chino. What's up, boy? 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 Alright, man, let's get this food. Look at Lola. Hey, what's up, mama? Oh, girl, you look good, girl. You looking real thick, girl. <laughs> Alright, man, come on, let's get this food right here, man. Man, in the kitchen. Whipping. Finger licking. <laughs> Y'all know that video I was just talking about? I forgot who I heard say that, but man, that shit funny. But we gotta put the dog food in the containers. Because the containers had got empty, so I had to go get some dog food. But we gotta put the dog food in the container. Come here, Chino. Come here, boy. Come here. Look at this small, almost two year old dog, man. Look at this dog. He is available for stud. I am I'm tucking him for my first in home with the puppy that I'm about to keep off this little. But I will stud Chino out to the right dog. I do pup backs. He's about to jump out of my hand. I do pup backs. Chino, stop. <laughs> I do pup backs. Look at him. I do pup backs. Um, and his stud feet. Oh, he need a bath. And his stud feet is um, pretty low right now. So hit the line up. You know, it is what it is. Let's work. Seeming good. He already tested and everything. So just hit me up. Let's put this dog food in here right quick. Come on, Chino. Got the container. You know, we just gonna cut it open. Put the dog food in there. Look, it got kind of empty. Got a little bit left in there. I should just go ahead and, um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get that little bit out of there. So, this is lower little portion right there. Put that over here. Then, Chino with the big bowl, big boy. I'm gonna have to pull that out of here for Chino because I can't scoop it. Like I need to. So I'm just gonna pull it out. Trying to get it all. No real measurement. I just measure it by the bowl size. And Chino eats a little bit more than everybody else. He's a male dog, so he gets it in. That's Chino. And then see, it's empty now. Fill it up with food and get the pregnant dog her food. But she got a little special little treat that's supposed to help with lactation. A little chicken and sweet potato and fish recipe. I'm going to show it to y'all. Hold on. I'm about to go get it. Hold up. Let me fill this up right quick and then I'm going to go get it. Come on, Chino. Chino and Lola. Fill that thing up real quick. I'm back hot again. God, man, look. I sweat a lot though, so. No, don't mind me. Great bowl. We doing a little bit of food. And hold on, I'm about to go get the little recipe that I'm about to use. So I'm really about to show y'all, you know, how to feed, how I feed my pregnant Frenchie. And we're going to talk about, I should break this up into another video. But we're going to talk about, really this video is about the mucus, well, the, you know, the mucus uh, discharge for the pregnant dog and um, the first heat cycles. So, but I'm gonna, I have a video about how I feed my dog, but I'm going to show y'all this again. I might make another video about it. You never know. Let me go get the... Stuff that I use.
We got we got gray bowl right here. We got the other dog stuff right here. I know y'all can't see me. Don't worry about me. Worry about what I'm talking about. So we got this. You know what is vital? Yeah, fresh pet vital. Um, real food. No rendered meat or byproducts. No corn. No wheat. No soy. No preservatives. No GMOs. And it's a uh, what is a chicken recipe with carrots, sweet potatoes, and cranberries. So we're going to use that because on the back, it says, you know, for pregnant free females, gradually increase the food offered during the last four weeks of gestation up to 40% over the normal adult requirement for lactating females on for two or three times the normal adult requirement. So I heard that this is good for dogs lactation um, and it helps them. So since she's about to drop those puppies, probably uh, sometime early next week, Monday, Tuesday, sometime next week. Uh, we're gonna try this out. Um, she doesn't have a problem lactating. And she is producing milk. I'm gonna show y'all squeeze a nipple and show y'all She got a little milk coming out, but yeah, we about to talk about all that. So I'm gonna take some of this Y'all know me. I don't do no measurements. So I use a solo cup But this this actually smell This smell good Hey, hold on no, I ain't about to eat it. I'm sweating again, bro. Damn, it's too hot down here, bro. But, hey, man, smell it. That shit smell. That shit smell good, huh? It just smell like chicken, honestly. But I know, I know she gonna like it. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of that. They said it two times, so basically equal parts dog food, equal parts this. Uh, I'm gonna give it a little mix. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little mix. Like that. Uh, and I know the dogs gonna be wanting that do dry old dog food, so I might give Lola a little bit of this too. I'm gonna I'm I'm just go ahead and give everybody a little bit. See, I'm gonna just give everybody a little bit. Give them a little treat. Forget it. Give them a little treat. Give it a little mix for them. They can get it in. So I'm mixing it with the regular dog food. I, I strongly believe in that. I do a little mix. Everybody food right here, y'all can see it. Let me move this other stuff out the way though. Yeah, everybody food right here. Look, she down here. She didn't came down here. She must have smelled it. <laughs> Look, come here, girl. <laughs> oh big old tail. Oh big old tail that came down here. Look at her. <laughs> Tell them you about to have a baby, girl. Oh yeah, she didn't came down here. She like that. She trying to get to her. Yeah, we about to get it to her. Look at her big pregnant tail. Look at her. <laughs> she come out of nowhere with it too. But um, I'm going to put some water on this because don't nobody want no dry food, man. Uh, somebody told me to use chicken broth. So that chicken broth helps with... Uh, uh now nah, it's salty. So nah, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use some... I'm gonna use some water because the chicken broth is salted, so I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of water on everybody's food, just so it's not too dry for them. Just a little bit, like that. Lola, too, just a little bit. A little bit of water on everybody's food so it's not dry. And then great. This goes in the refrigerator too, so I'm gonna put it in the fridge right quick. But Gray gets Oxymate until she drops the puppies, then she gets Oxymama. Did it did it focus yet? No, it didn't focus yet. Let's make this focus. So Gray gets Oxymate. Y'all see it. So Gray gets Oxymate until she drops the puppies. So all the dogs decided to eat. Y'all see them running around? So, oh, I didn't drop that. Ah, ah, leave it. Train. See what I mean, bro? See what I mean? I told them leave it, and they all went over there. So none of this is going to waste. It's going to get used. Which it wouldn't do no harm, but I almost dropped it. But yeah, so she gets two of those required by her weight. And five milligrams of folic acid, or just one. All it needs is five milligrams with each feed. So put one in her food. 
That's it. Dogs fed. So I'm about to take these bowls upstairs, and we're gonna continue our conversation upstairs about uh, like I said, about um the mucus discharge that Gray has, and about um damn Lola look good, and about um first heats. So hold up, come here, Lola. Come here, they wanna see you, Mama. Where you going? You ready to eat, huh? She ready. I'll show it to y'all. Come on, let's go. Come on, man. Go. 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 Let's go. All right, y'all. So we back upstairs in what I call the headquarters. Let me fix my light. Fuck the production. Let me fix my light. And stop sweating, bro. Jeez. But we back upstairs in the headquarters. Y'all know Chino is down low. But this is Lola right here. I just feel a bowler, man. It ain't no, I, it's a, she's a puppy, but give her what, you know, whatever. I just let her eat, man. This is gray bowl right here. Fresh oxy, oxy, uh, oxy mate chicken recipe and dog food. Gray is down below. So put hers in, I go ahead and eat. <clears throat> put them in the cage when the Chino got a big bowl. Put them in their cages when they eat, man, because, uh, because, man, they get greedy about their food, man, and just, just get crazy, bro, so, they got some water down here. Come on, bro. Come on, go in there. Go. Great getting in there. Come on, bro. Everybody about to eat. Everybody eats, bro. Now I'm cleaning this up real quick. Waste some water. Transporting bowls and shit. Get that out the way in that trash bag. Everybody eats. About to dig in. I'm about to get them some water. Gotta go get their bowls from downstairs because I will clean their water bowls. But let's chop it up though. I'm about to wipe my forehead again, bro. But let's chop it up. Alright, so let's chop it up. Yes, I'm still hot, man. Moving up and down the stairs. Hot outside. Just got over. Went to the dog store. Gotta wipe my face up. But let's chop it up, bro. So check this out. So I'm gonna do the mucus thing first. So Gray, me and Grandma, I'm gonna post the video and I'm gonna just voice over it. So we were chilling on the couch. This is a short video, so I'll just make it, uh, you know, an end and end. But it's gonna be over me somewhere right here. So we was chilling on the couch or whatever, and um, uh, I was just playing with her stuff, and then I noticed, like, you know, out of her vulva area, vagina area, she had a little discharge. So I put the camera on, as y'all can see in the video, and it's, you know, you see it's slimy and it's, you know, colored or whatever, that's mucus. So that's a mucus discharge. So what happens when a feet, upon research and talking to the professionals, what happens when a dog gets pregnant is basically they have like a mucus that seals the cervix. Like it covers up the cervix. Uh, I don't know if it's like protecting it. I didn't dig that deep. I just wanted the basics. But it seals the cervix. So the mucus that seals the cervix, it stays there until around the time when your dogs are, uh, when your dog is ready to um, go into labor. So when you start seeing that mucus discharge, your dog is getting close to labor. Or, you know, it's about time to have the puppies. So that was my first time seeing it. And as y'all know, uh, let me open this cage door right there. I'll keep talking, but as y'all know, um, She's getting ready to have her puppies. Um, Monday, Dr. Dr. Sue told me to come and um, do the... What's up, mama? Hey. Dr. Sue told me to come and do the um, the um, reverse progesterone. And, you know, we're going to either schedule a C-section. But we're going to keep doing the reverse progesterone until the dog is ready. So we can get a scheduled C-section, not emergency C-section. But, um, yeah, man. Let me see. So she got she got a little mucusy discharge right now. So 
Yeah, that's what that is. That's exciting. That's good news. You know what I mean? The puppies are about to come. Um, man, you smacked that food, didn't you, Big Tail? I'm going to lay her down and show y'all at the end. Well, I'm gonna show What's up, girl? Let me see. Vacuum cleaning and everything. Here, let me see. <laughs> she, she be knowing what I be trying to do. Hold on, let me back this up. All right, there we go. So check this out, y'all. Y'all see it? Producing milk. Nothing really out of that one, but these down here, it's coming out. Y'all see it? Let me see, girl. Y'all see it? Let me see. Some of y'all see it? Yep. Yep. So she's producing milk already. What's up, mama? So, like I just showed y'all, she is producing milk. So, you know, it's exciting. You know, everything's going to go well. And it's like, you know, we did last time. Everything went well. You know, once we made, a, a, you know, adjustments, got, got her to, the, got her to uh, another whelp or whatever. Everything went well or whatever. Didn't lose no more puppies. Everything was straight. But, uh, but yeah, man, um, next topic. We talked about that. We talked about the milk. Uh, next topic is first heat. So, do I even want to talk about that in this video? I don't know if I even want to talk about that in this video. Yeah, fuck it. Let's talk about it. First heat. So, me personally, Lola is the future of Prime Frenchies. Lola is a new shade, Isabella, producer that carries cream. Um, comes from a crazy bloodline, uh, Michael Phelps, a direct Michael Phelps' daughter. Um, she's literally built like him and looks like him. Um, I don't see any of her mom features in her. Every anytime I see Phelps, and I look at her, I see Phelps. Um, she's the future of prime Frenchies. Chino is the future of prime Frenchies, uh, and these puppies that we're about to drop is the future of prime Frenchies. Gray is retiring after this breeding, um, so I'm waiting on Lola. Lola was born in October, so if we go October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So Lola is eight months this month. Me personally, when Lola goes in her first heat cycle, whenever that may be, it could be anywhere between now and a year, a year and a half, or two years. It depends on that specific dog. But if she goes in heat now at eight months, I won't breed her because not because she's too young or she's immature or any of that stuff. Well, not because she's too young. I'm gonna say that not because she's too young because. Um, Lola, to me personally, Lola is immature. She's not mature enough to raise puppies and, and going to want our puppies to nurse on her, going to want to lick them and stimulate them and clean up after them. I know my dog, I can look at my dog right now and the way she acts with everything she does, she's not mature enough for that. Um, so I won't breed her if she go in heat and right now. But if she goes in heat anytime after now, and I see a change in her, or I think she's ready, or, you know, I see the, how she acts with the puppies that come in. Um, you know, um, I'm going to make that judgment based on my dog, and um, she may get bred if I think she's ready. If I think she's ready based on her personality and her character and her uh, maturity, I'm going to breed her. So, do I believe in breeding dogs on the first heat? Yes, I do. The, the, the short answer is yes, I do. For other breeders, for myself, whatever. I don't judge people that breed their dogs on the first heat. And here's my reasoning why. Um, dogs derive from wolves, right? Um, they, I don't know if they say all dogs derive from wolves, but dogs derive from wolves, they, can't, they come from the wild. In the wild, think about this. In the wild, if a dog comes in heat, and there's an alpha male, two alphas or whatever, and they want to breed or mate with that dog, they're going to do it. And they're going to cre create offspring. Um, they're not going to wait until she's mature enough. They're not going to wait till the second or third heat. And I hate when I hear breeders say, I'm going to wait till the second heat because that's whatever. Like, if your dog is mature enough, your dog is ready. Like, yeah, something changes in, in human women and all mammals when they get pregnant with life 
and they know that they're creating life and they have to take care of it. Their body changes, um, they change and maturity rise, the, the, the mammals grow up. So like I said, in the wild, that alpha wouldn't wait and that female wouldn't make herself wait because it's just her first heat. They're going to do what they do and they're going to create life. And, and, some, and that's what I go by. Like if this dog's in the wild, they had wild fridges running around in a, a valley or a savanna or whatever. And that dog came in heat with an with a, with a alpha of that pack mate with that dog. And the answer is yes. They wouldn't wait. So my answer is yes. If your dog is mature enough, you know your dog is going to take care of the puppies or whatever the case may be. Um, yes, breed your dog. Another good reason after doing research and speaking to professionals as well is that um, when your dog goes in heat, their body goes through the same thing as if they were pregnant. So that whole heat cycle and sometimes even afterwards, your dog body and also your dog's body chemistry and emotions go through the same thing as if they weren't pregnant. And this applies to first heats and skipping heats after you've bred the dog before. I wouldn't skip a heat. If you're going to use the dog, use the dog, get the breeders out of the way and then retire your dog. Because when your dog goes in heat, they go through that same, you know, body process as if they made it and got pregnant. So, um, that's why some dogs have false pregnancies and they believe that they pregnant and when they were never bred and they never made it with a male dog, they believe that they're pregnant and they start uh, nesting when they digging around trying to find somewhere to have the puppies and they whining out of the blue or they looking for their puppies or whatever and they're able to nurse like adopted puppies. There was a video on Facebook I seen the other day, but a dog that never was bred and went into a heat cycle was able to nurse puppies that she never had and thought that they were her puppies because her body went through that same thing that is going to go through whether she made it or not whether she was bred or not so skip a heat or not breed on the first heat for what like now see if you have a really tiny dog you know your dog is immature um and you know personally your dog not ready but don't go to these you know um um uh what they call them? They got dog. They got vets that's pro breeders, and they got breasts that's vets that that don't like breeders and that don't believe in breeding. Don't listen to one of those vets and say that. Oh man, this vet told me not to breed my dog on the first heat, um, or whatever the case may be. Man, don't listen to that. That's the the vet trying, just don't want you to breed your dog. If this your dream, this something you want to do, whether it's your dream, whether you believe in creating life. You know, whether you just like it or whether you just or rather you in it making money off of it. Is this is this a way that you make income? Because times is hard, bro. You gotta make money however you gotta make it. So I'm not knocking nobody's hustle if they breed dogs to make money. Because we all do this for something. We not just breeding these dogs for fun, but we make money off of it. And we make pretty good money off of it. So if you doing it because of those reasons or whatever you doing it for, breed your dog, man. Like don't listen to that bull crap about all of this stuff because I know people that breed dogs on the first heat. Some of y'all probably own dogs that were bred on the first heat and they are amazing dogs. Nothing is wrong with them and nothing is wrong with the mom either. So chill with all of that, man. Take take the emotions out of it or, or thinking about it like that because these dogs, man, they age faster than us. What we get in three months, they get in a week. Like th these dogs are older than us in their years and they age faster than us and their bodies mature faster than ours so stop thinking about your dog as like a little baby that you're breeding or making life with with another dog i stop thinking about it like that man these these are animals that we love for sure that i love like i love the fuck out of my dogs like you guys anybody that's around me i fucking love my dogs like i go without so my dogs can have most of the time so you know do what you want to do towards your vision towards your camp do it safely, man, and take care of your dogs while you're doing it. And you know if your dog is ready or not. So that's my take on first heat. Um, I, I would do it. Um, Lola goes in heat at 11 months, 10 months, and she ready. Wait for what, man? Because it's going to take her two months to have the puppies, and then she's going to be a year old. So if I wait till a second heat, she's going to be a year anyway. So you know what I mean? Like, it's breed your dog, man. Breed your dog. Make those puppies, make them amazing Frenchies that y'all want to make. Um, but make good dogs, man. Make quality dogs, make structured dogs. 
and worry about the DNA and the colors later, man. The first thing is structure, second thing, well, the first thing is quality, the second thing is structure, and the third thing should be DNA, man. Quality Frenchies over here at Prime Frenchies, that's the name, Prime. When you go out and you get a Prime Rib, Prime Steak, Coach Prime, all of them was the best at what they do, <laughs> for real. So, yeah, Prime Frenchies, quality, structure, and DNA, that's why it's last, because that's, we don't care about DNA more than we care about quality and structure. So, yeah, man, that's my take. Um, this, this video lasted a long time, but I, I like it. I like the conversation. So, get in them comments. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Um, you know, ain't going to be no disrespect. You know, I'm not arguing with anybody that's respectful with what they do. Now, if you come on my page with the bullshit, as y'all seen, you're going to get it back. I'm going to bring it right back to you how you brought it to me. So, yeah, man. Um, let's talk about it. Get in them comments. I want to hear what y'all what y'all want to say about First Heat. What y'all want to say about the mucus plug. I want to hear what y'all want to say. But primarily, I want to hear what y'all want to say about that First Heat stuff. So, we out, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. We back. We about to keep it rolling with these videos. Again, y'all see it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this damn channel, bro. We got eight. I think we had 800 and something. 800 plus subscribers on our way to a thousand. Let's run it up, man. Get your boy to a thousand. Share this video um, with y'all breeder friends and whoever y'all know. I want to hear what they got to say. I want to hear what everybody got to say. Until next time, man. Thank y'all for tapping in. Prime Frenchies, bro. We out.